Matt Scranton here. We're here at Scranton Race Development's Engine Dyno Facility in Atlanta Lakes, Florida. Question of the day is, does a vacuum pump actually work? Typically people have made statements that there's much as 20 horsepower. We're going to find out. What we have here is just a typical small block Chevy, 302 cubic inches, 11 to 1 compression, aluminum headed, total ram intake manifold Victor ram, Bonneville salt flat engine. We're going to spin this engine from 5,000 RPM to 7,500 RPM with no belt on the vacuum pump. What we're using today is an aerospace components four bane vacuum pump. So basically what we're going to do is this first test, no belt whatsoever, no manifold vacuum, and uh, our engine vacuum, and we're going to see what happens. Okay folks, here we go. As you notice, there's no engine vacuum. We're getting ready to make this pull with no belt. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Okay, we installed the belt. Let's go see what happens. Let's go make a dyno pull. Okay, folks, we've installed the belt. We're going to make the pull number two. This uh, vacuum pump will pull typically 28 inches. We've got it way regulated down, so we got a target somewhere around 16, 18 inches. We'll see what it does. Here we go. Okay folks, we just concluded the test. We made a legitimate, honest 20 horsepower just by installing the belt. 16 inches of vacuum. It's an aerospace components four bane vacuum pump. Thanks once again for watching the video. This is once again Matt Scranton with Scranton Racing Development.